Slither. Let's see what he can make happen. Whoa! Here comes Slither. Here comes the stun on Andromeda. Slither with the poison spray. Ulti on Andromeda. Slither goes down to Chew. I mean, whoa. Doing more damage than I thought, this Glacius. But it's Chew, man. You can't, you can't do anything, man. He's like, <clears throat> you can't play any hero. I'll just own you. Just go mid and own you. Here we go. Initiation here in the middle. Not much gonna follow from that, unfortunately. However, we got more people going to the mid here. No, we don't. So they're going bot. Pings to the mid. Looks like they want to initiate the Hellborn team here. Here we go. Chu with the Glacius. Coming from the back. Putting out a ward here. Quite unusual. But I guess he wants to spot any passerbys. Here we go. Initiation of Witch Slayer. Whoa, he's going to go down. Whoa. Glacius gets disabled here and he doesn't he doesn't get the freeze off on witch slayer wow and madman going down to the tower how unfortunate legion owns yoda you guys are real effing cute is what warden here says wow adding insult to injury here warden why are you doing this they feel bad enough already and we got torture getting another kill bot wow he is just owning people and we got a tower dropping here top what when you leave a polywog unsupervised, he's gonna drop them, those towers. He's gonna drop them towers, and there's nothing you can do about it if you don't, you know, TP or something. Which a lot of people do, so that makes no sense. But if you pay attention to something else and you're not focused, then polywog can just drop the wards, and just take those towers out. So I was gonna check on somebody's kill death. Torture, 6 4, okay, I thought he might have had like, something like 6 1 or something crazy, but 6 4. Uh, not huge, but he's been taking out those guys, those here bot. This has been his feeding ground. Here we go. We got pushing the mid tower. Three people here. Quite for for a long time, there's been three people here. You gotta wonder, are they losing farm? Finally, moving to the bot lane. Here we go. Initiation of blacksmith gets taken out with the pharaoh tormented soul. Initiation of glacius here is gonna be able to take him out. This pickle jar. No, he's not. Pickle jar? I mean pickle. Is he gonna get be able to take himself out of this pickle? You've got Nishis on mid. Who's going down? Oh my god, I'm not following this. I think it's Witch Slayer? No, I don't know. Middle tower getting pushed. At the same time, bottom tower getting pushed, so they're not gonna defend. I don't think they even have TPs here. Mm, they're on cooldown, so they're gonna push this bottom tower. One for one, an eye for an eye. Leg for a leg. So, if we look at the wards, they're all very defend. No, wait. Quite offensive wards, I was gonna say. Very offensive wards. Which is really nice, because I think in a high tier game, the way to win is to play aggressive. You're not gonna win by turtling. You're not gonna win by, you know, chilling back. You need those offensive wards. You need to kill people. That's the point of this game, man. Screw the shrine. Screw the tree. Killing people, that's all that matters. Right, so we got Blacksmith and Torture going here to the bottom forest. Lots of pulls here, very nice triple pull. And Blacksmith stunning on Slither, and he's gonna be done here as the ruffian cleans him up. Witch Slayer here, ulting the Torturer, is gonna be able to finish him off. Yes, all Pharaoh comes in with the quote unquote kill steal. And we got Andromeda here behind enemy lines. No, wait, hold on. No, no, that's Pharaoh behind enemy lines, trying to do something here, trying to kill Blacksmith. Is he going to be able to? He's got reinforcements on the way. Can he trap him? Oh, we can't. Very unfortunate. But here we go. Reinforcements. Here's the Witch Slayer. Here comes the stun. And Blacksmith goes down to Raiko, who has a serial killer status of this moment. This Pharaoh doing damage, man. Doing damage. We got Chu farming his uh, Frostburn here on the mid. No, I'm just kidding. Blood Chalice, kind of interesting. Never considered Blood Chalice on Glacius, just because he doesn't require so much mana. Or he does, but he doesn't really need to... Usually when I play Glacius, I don't use his abilities so much that I really need a Blood Chalice. I'm more worried about my life rather than my mana. But he has both a bottle and a Blood Chalice. Wow. 
So what's going on here? Torturer bot, but he's gonna find himself alone against three, four, four Hellborn heroes. Here we go, coming coming through the tower, tower diving, swift blade, he's gonna be alone now. Oh man, he's in a tough tough spot here as he tries to escape. Swift blade going down. Wow, you gotta ask yourself, was that overextension? And the answer is yes, it was. But also you could have asked for some more team support, but there was none. I can debate what, what was better. Initiation on Andromeda, wow, ulti from uh, Pharaoh here. Andromeda is gonna drop, yes. And they're, ooh, the, the Hellborn team here is in retreat. They're running as fast as they can. And this Black, is he gonna get ki taken out by this Witch Slayer? Oh, I don't think so. Madman killing Slither. Getting a stun. Pharaoh saving his teammates. Come on, get out of there, Witch Slayer. Ah, oh, he's gonna make it. Pharaoh saving his teammates. Wow. I really like what Pharaoh's doing this game. And as the tower gets pushed top by the Hellborn creeps. Getting some extra gold for the Hellborn. As if they need it. Right, Madman. Sprinting to the top. Get this double damage. Get it, get it, get it, get it. He's got it. Oh man, what's he gonna do with this? What is he gonna do with this? He will take out this far. He wants to take him out. He, ooh, he wants him. He wants him bad. Let's see if he manages to, though. He's got the boots on agility for the most maximum damage. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the barrel roll. He misses! And oh, Pharaoh gets to do the mummy wall! <laughs> and escapes the madman with the double damage. Wow, that was unexpected. Wow. I mean, sure, he, it's pretty easy for Pharaoh to get away there, but that was the slight fail here. And people are saying, man, you gotta be tired. You gotta be tired, man. Here we go. Oh man, Madman really wants that kill, man. He's going for it. Polywog disabling Madman, however. Oh, initiation of Madman, and he doesn't get, oh yes, he does get that Pharaoh. Will Madman get me killed here by Polywog Priest? Oh, it, oh man, it's so close, can't tell, and he gets away, oh, will he be able to get away from this Polywog Priest? Running in the opposite direction, unfortunately, and still dying to the wards. <laughs> He's like, man, I got that kill, I'm so awesome, and it's like, oh, what's this, wards, and he dies. And there was something going on mid, but I don't care, man, because I'm just following this man, man, this Yoda, this short guy who's just so agile. It's appropriate. He's Yoda, and he's playing an agility hero, and Yoda himself is very agile. But here we go. Init oh, yeah, Witch Slayer manages to get away. And he's going to get the Invis Rune, but he gets stunned before it. And as you know, if he gets stunned, the invisibility gets blocked, but he does manage to get the invisibility off. But is he going to die from this dot? No, he's not. It's very close, though. And they're pinging for Witch Slayer. They know he's there. He, he's only got the Steam Boots. Torturer got... He's got the Ghost Marchers, but he gets stunned. Wow. That's unfortunate for Torturer, who just wanted to rough people up, man. That's all he wants to do. He's the ruffian. And here we go. Black Slither running around, sprinting around, just with his jetpacks, you know. Looking for a victim to sink his teeth into his fangs. Here we go, initiation on Glacius. Oh yeah, Pharaoh again with that ulti, catching with the mummy walls, and he's got the stun here. Will he drop Glacius? He's very tanky, actually. Very surprised. Well, he's got that mighty blade. Could be part of it. Slither, he is relentless. He's gonna kill this Glacius. He doesn't give a crap. He's gonna die. Wow, is Glacius gonna survive? This is gonna be so painful. No, he's gonna die, of course. This Pharaoh doing a phenomenal job, in my opinion. Who is this guy? Raiko. I've never heard of him before, but he's part of DVI. DVI clan. Competitive clan. Very strong clan, obviously. I don't know very much about him, but... You can only expect such good performance in such a game. Slither I haven't seen much of. He hasn't been pay taking part of the gang so much. He's mostly been farming. He's gonna be farming that 20 minute rune. Wow. Time passes way slower when you're casting. I thought, like... Wow, he's got no items here, but in fact he's doing very well. Let's check out his gold per minute. Ooh, ah, wait. 280 gold per minute from uh, Swiftblade. And Polywog Priest, 290 gold per minute. What? What? How is this possible? That is sick. And then 275 on Pharaoh. Wow, these guys are farming like crazy. And what else? We got Yoda here on 240. So he's losing the farming battle against Swiftblade. But you gotta ask yourself... In